Welcome to your Opal Muvano. This short video will inform you about the daily checks and using the Muvano. The Muvano is powered by a Euro 6 diesel engine and has a 6 speed manual gearbox. To open and lock the Muvano, use the buttons on the key. Before you set off, carry out a walk around check. A guide to these checks is found on the driver's window and door. The daily safety check only takes a minute but could save a life. Pay particular attention to the lights, windscreen, mirrors and make sure they're clean. Check the tyres for obvious damage. Make sure there's enough thread. There is a manual wear indicator you can feel in between the grooves of the tyre. And make sure they are inflated properly. The tyre pressures for each tyre are printed above the wheel arch. If you find a fault, record it in the defect book and contact your local supplier to arrange the repair work. In the cabin, the dashboard features a number of warning lights that light up when the ignition is switched on and go out moments later. If any light stays on, consult the owner's manual in the glove box. If amber lights stay on, contact your local supplier. But if a red light stays on, stop and contact Lease Plan on 1800 525456. Remember to check the fuel gauge and fill up as needed. The diesel filler cap is on the near or passenger side. Secure any loose objects and check the windscreen wipers and washers, lights, horn and the reverse beeper. And please note that when the headlights are on, the reverse beeper changes tone to be less intrusive at night time. The handbrake is positioned between the driver and passenger seats. If you are parked facing uphill, apply the handbrake and engage first gear. If you are pointed downhill, apply the handbrake and engage reverse gear. The headlights are operated via a stalk on the left hand of the steering column. The flash and headlight function is operated by this stalk too, as are the indicators. You can manually adjust the headlight angle depending on your load using this dial. The right hand stalk operates the wipers and the screen wash function. The buttons at the end of the right hand stalk will scroll through the trip computer, which include your remaining fuel and AdBlue level. The driver's seat can be fully adjusted to suit your body. The steering wheel rake can be adjusted using the column mounted lever. Remember to lock it back in place once set. The Muvano has a Bluetooth sound system. To pair a phone using Bluetooth, turn on the stereo, select Tel for telephone, turn the clickable dial on the right, select pair device and click. Turn on Bluetooth on your phone and make sure it scans for available devices. When you see my car, click connect. When it asks for a password, click OK and your phone will pair, then allow access to your phone. Maintenance should be carried out according to the service schedule and arranged by the driver with a local supplier. In day-to-day -day use, the driver may need to fill the washer reservoir. This is done by releasing the bonnet via a lever in the passenger footwell. There is a further catch under the bonnet's leading edge. The washer reservoir is on the left-hand side. To check the oil, there is a dipstick. If you need to fill up with oil, you remove the oil filler cap. Ensure there is enough coolant by checking the reservoir. The Muvanu spare wheel is located under the rear deck. The jack and tools are located under the driver's seat. If you need assistance changing a damaged wheel or with a breakdown, contact Lease Plan on 1800 525456. At large intervals, a driver will see a dash display indicating the need to top up the AdBlue tank. This is done via its unique filler nozzle on the off or driver's side. You must go to your nearest lease plan supplier who will top up the AdBlue for you. There is a special screw and adapter for the tow hitch electrical socket. When it's not in use, it should be stowed in the glove box. Finally, may we wish you safe and happy driving in your Opel Muvano.